Okay, so today we're going to finish a Canicadia kit. Um, th this is a finished Canicadia. This one is made out of Jatoba, but uh, our kits are all made out of ash. This ad ladle has a Y. You can use it without holding the dart with your finger. This is what comes in the kit. The handle, the Y, piece of leather, and a spur. The things that you need that don't come in the kit. You need school glue, linseed oil. You probably need a pocket knife. You need a rag and a pair of scissors. Let's get started. So with a with any of these kits you need to start with a coarse sandpaper and you sand it as much as you'd like. I'm going to sand it as much as I like also. In the kit you'll find three different grades of sandpaper. You start with the coarsest sandpaper and you work your way down to the finest sandpaper. Um, be particularly uh, careful about sanding the, the ends. Get them nice and smooth and round. Sand on the inside curves really well. The really grain changes. It's difficult to sand in there. It's hard to sand the end grain. And when you get to the end grain of this handle here, sometimes it's better to put the sandpaper on your on your leg and sand this way because you have to sand really hard to get that end grain sanded well. We're going to cut to the next grade of sandpaper. Okay, I'm using the finer sandpaper now. This is the second piece of sandpaper I've been using. You sand it pretty well with this. You can uh, finish one of these ash hat ladles in many different ways. You can stain them and varnish, or you can stain and oil them with uh, linseed oil. Um, in this case, I'm just going to sand it and oil it. The easiest way to do it. You don't even have to oil it, you can use it raw if you'd like. I'm uh, using the third and final grade of sandpaper. This is the 220 sandpaper. It's very fine, it gives a, a nice smooth feeling finish. Okay, so the next thing I do is uh, put linseed oil on. I've got linseed oil in this little container here. I'll saturate my rag. A little bit of linseed oil on that. Close that up. So, put the linseed oil on the, that loud. Don't put linseed oil in that hole. Just go right over the top of it but not in it and also avoid it going into that hole there too okay that looks pretty good the next step is to uh, glue the spur into the, the hole do a trial fit fits in there good put the glue in the hole put glue on your spur So if you get the if the glue squirts out like that, that's good. Just clean it up with a rag. So it looks good. And then put a little linseed oil on your Y. Don't put it on the inside of the Y, and don't put it down at the very end of your of the Y down here because you're going to glue that. You may want to sand this a little bit more than the sanded now, but it's okay like that also. I'll try I'll fit this, make sure it fits the hole. Fits very well. Put your glue in the hole. 
put your glue on, on here. Same thing as the spur, just get the glue on all the way around. Make sure that it's in the at the right angle. You don't want it twisted one way or the other. You want it nice and even so that the so it lines up with the spur. Get that extra excess glue wiped off. Okay. So the next step is to glue this leather into the Y. I usually glue the leather in so that the fuzzy side or the I'm going to say the flesh side of the leather is on the outside facing the dart okay so you take the smooth side of the leather and try all fit it into there make sure it fits and uh, we're going to add some glue in here put this in there like that take all that excess off and you need to put something into the Y to hold the leather against the outside of the wood okay I use a little bit of paper toweling here you need enough pressure to, to push that glue against there so I've got this paper toweling here and I'm going to just press it down Okay, there, it's all squared up and that should be all right. So this has to dry for about an hour and then you trim it off with a pair of scissors. Um, we're not going to be able to do that on film here, but um, I'll take a pair of scissors like this and basically trim around this like that. I can trim it a little bit here before I do that. But I'll want to trim along this edge right here to get the excess leather off of there. There's a little bit of excess leather right here. You can trim that off. I always do that after it's uh, after the glue is dry. So that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to get these canicadillas together. Um, trimming the leather is just a matter of uh, removing the excess uh, from the leather that you don't want to have on there. You can leave it just like it is. It, it doesn't hurt it at all, but it would look better if you trimmed it. I like these really small, sharp scissors like this that you can get at a um, fabric shop, fabric store. They're called pinking shears. They're very sharp and they're very small. Well, that's how you do the canicadilla. Thank you very much for watching.